Hi, my name is Joe Cregan. Uh, I am one of the owners of Evergreen Midwest Company. Today we're going to continue our series on explaining part numbers and how to derive part numbers. Today we're going to look at the Sherwood Global Valve. The valve is called Global Valve because it meets every country's code and every major corporation's code for valves in the world. So they call it the Global Valve. So the Global Valve is Sherwood's flagship. It's their go-to valve in the industrial gas line and I think it's pretty much the industry standard valve. In this particular case we're holding an oxygen valve so we start the part number starts with GV for global valve and uh, it continues the next three placeholders are for the compressed gas associations designation of that gas so every gas is uh, the, the Compressed Gas Association designates a particular three-digit part number for uh, every major gas. So in this case it's an oxygen and the Compressed Gas Association designates the number 540 for oxygen. So this part number is a GV for global valve and then a 540. The next placeholder is for the inlet thread. The There are basically four or say five major choices on the inlet thread. You can have a half inch, a three quarter inch, a one inch, and then you can have two UNF threads, an inch and an eighth and a .750. That will cover 99 percent of all inlet threads. So a half inch inlet thread is a four, a three quarter inch is a six, a one inch is an eight, the inch and an eighth is a five, and the uh, .750 will cover it uh, in the advanced class. If you stick around for the upper level classes, you can learn that one. So this particular one is a six for a three quarter inch inlet. So we have a part number GV for global valve, 540 for oxygen, six for the three quarter inch inlet. The next placeholder is for the type of um, pressure relief device. Pressure relief devices, again, are designated by the Compressed Gas Association. They have determined what type of pressure relief device we want to use with which gas. So in this particular case, the valve I'm holding in my hand has an open, or a CG1, pressure relief device, which is referred to in the industry as a PRD. You could have a CG4 in this valve or a CG5 as well. The CG4 and a CG5 burst either under pressure or at a specific set temperature. The CG1 bursts only under pressure. In this particular case now we have a GV valve, a global valve. It's a GV 540 for oxygen, 540, 6 for the inlet, 3 quarter inch inlet, 1 for the type of CG or uh, pressure relief device, a CG1 PRD, and then the next placeholders are for the pressure that the pressure relief device bursts under. Now there are different formulas to determine what pressure you need and we have that information on our website at evergreenmidwest.com in the tech section. There's some charts that will help you pick the pressure relief device or I'd also recommend just contact us. You can call us at 800-659-3358 or you can email us at sales at evergreenmidwest.com and we can tell you or recommend you what pressure relief device pressure setting you want. Uh, in this case, it's a 3360, and that's a dash 32 in the part number. I wish I could explain that, but I can't. So, this particular valve, we have a GV global valve, 540 for, for oxygen, 6 for inlet, 1 for the CG1 pressure relief device, and a 32, for, which stands for 3360 burst. A GV540-6132. Thank you.